Right guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a few of the clips that I got when we went up to Lama this week. Um, there's not an awful lot. We spent the entire day walking around. We didn't really stop at all to speak to hardly any stands. Um, and we only just got around the stand. It took us the entire time to get around the show. Um, next year, we're definitely gonna go up and stay the night before so we can get in there early. Um, but yeah, awesome show. Great to meet so many of you. Um, we had a really, really good time. And we picked up a couple of little things. Um, we've already done to the tractor, so I'll show you in a minute. But uh, for now, enjoy what we had a look at at the show. You just scrape in. 160 horse. Yeah. Yeah, mate. What size shaft would you need? I reckon we need bigger than 160 horse for that. Just grab the top one. Top one. Oh, that top. was no, John. That's for a three meter. Yes, yeah, I say you. Yeah. The, the three meter. You were just about. 300. Put one tractor on the front, one tractor on the back. If we chip big boots. Yeah. No, I would tandem pull it. I think if you chipped oh, big boots, heavy you, it would probably go bang. <laughs> Someone suggested to me chipping big boots last night. What's that? Oh, that's the same machine. It carries on. Here you are, James. We visited the uh, range stand anyway. the advantage of that is once you're standing on yeah. it, it makes the whole yeah, thing yeah. a lot yeah. more stable. Oh, also on this version, we've got some threads in the side there with a so you can we've got a little l-shaped bracket that you can fix it to the Break it down. if you want where does it drain ah oh, this, this one, one, one drains at the back oh, that's that's the one front, drains at the front yeah and what we've also done is we've got two drains this is slanted towards the back as well so it'll drain whereas that one slanted towards the front the reason we put two threads in so you've got the choice to either come this way or come that way. I see. Or, or, or so, so, so he knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, is that what it is? Are they coming for a drink? They wait, 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 that's what I mean. That would be the thing to have to keep with. Daily games, then, can't you? Yeah, you're all the time. Well, yeah, every just, month. well, every animal will come in for a drink. Almost what you want out in techno, isn't it? Yeah. Put on a set of wheels. That pushes. compresses it, doesn't it? Ah, uh, it's a compressor. Oh, he only goes that far, you reckon? Squeezes it up. Lift me up. <laughs> Give me a leg up. What's the ball? That let you know when you're back in. It's hydraulic as well. Yeah, so it goes up. Is it up? Does it lock the tail? Must it do. do, yeah. Oh, bloody enormous. Stop your push in the back. Again, I reckon big boots ah, would pull it. When you back it back, yeah, yeah, no you problem. Going, stop you going too far back, is it? You're unloading? Or does it move you? Why the ones that put pressure and starts building it, it pushes the machine. Stop it. so that it stops this when he's when he's emptied up to the bar if you see what I mean so then you move forward and the pressure comes off and he'll and it wouldn't have a but that would be he'd look good on your 895 hello yeah, is he on a ring itch? I don't know so you see if no, you, no. you got a hitch just man enough for him oh you're going to have to get a ball oh. just put the ball itch on <laughs> Well, no, 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 it's got to be I think, 30 feet over I think, I think you need that one. I need that one. <laughs> you notice nearly every other mower has only got two blades on the disc. 
got we got three. That one's got none. I mean, he's, yeah, he wouldn't put a lot of grass <laughs> on that. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a pulling eye, isn't it? Probably, yeah. We need one. Inside of a tree, it looks like. That is going to replace us one day. Yep. He has to have a job. Not for a while. Hopefully not. Hopefully not this week. I don't know, I'd like to see it fed cow cubicles. Well, I say it can't TV test cows either. Well, I, I don't want to TV test cows. <laughs> it's welcome to it if it has heaps. <laughs> yeah, if you can do it, I'm not going to stop it. I don't know if it's under there, do you? Yeah. Oh, it's just something in there. Yeah, I don't think it's meant to. No, I don't think that's part of it. Are you sure to get them in with that in there? This must be all for the waste houses. Is that a lamb? Is that one of those things you upturn the lambs in? Yeah. If ah. you're drenching and stuff. Possibly. It's got a rubber floor. Not a great thing. They're very aggressive looking, which is quite like. I like the styling of them. There's the 180, that's more like the size mine was, wasn't it? Oh no, Ricky's, mine was a 165, wasn't it? Yeah. So when you want with a shaft on the front, they're moving. I think 180's got a shaft on the front. Yeah. Do you want the black one? You back that into the uh, dairy shed. He's just trying out how you cut the strings, obviously. <laughs> yeah. That's what I did. It would nearly hold two bales long, wouldn't it? I think it would on their end, wouldn't it? Oh, you mean one on the end of the Yeah. Put yeah. four in it. Yeah. All the way, way along. Oh, I see. Still the old 991. Bread and butter. I think Ross has gone. Sweet reckons these are the best off a trail wrapper, the best backboards. Because they cradle it down and then they don't roll off as you. Yeah, as you if you start moving as they. Um, They've made the 991 for you, haven't they? Yes. That's what uh, I used to wrap with M&S. It's posh. I'm just not sure how I feel about the mud, the wheel arch, is it? Yes, I see what you mean. You see what I mean? You're in the way. I don't know what, how people get on with it. <laughs> you come in and you find a cow just like... Yeah, yeah. I just imagine they it's get big just onto the side. It's yeah. a big area, isn't it? Yeah. It's the only thing we used to have trouble with. We had a homemade one. Um, actually, Harold and Murphy... What on earth is this? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's been the bottom. Yeah, yeah. David took up a bale trailer with a single wheel arch and they made the, they made the big square frame what is and this? made it basically into one of these. I love it. But you break it, you buy it. Passenger seat's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, comfortable passenger seat. All your passengers you take. Yeah. Yeah. I remember the last time I took a passenger. Like reverse fan. You've now got no, a passenger. That's your ad blue, isn't it? That one. So, what, what what is it? Uh, so, so you can stop it burning. Oh, right. Well, you can start it, start it burning, stop it burning. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. What do you reckon? Good cab, isn't it? I quite like it. I like the radio down there. If there was a radio. <laughs> so you hit a low sun. Right <laughs> I guess it'll block that off if you want it to. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> You've got a moan by the looks of it. Yeah, knock down some acres. Josh, you, when you drove this when yes. you went on that day, is that the exhaust pipe? Yes. Believe so. Huh, you know your level. Yeah. There's a good idea. You could do that, couldn't you? If you bought a bubble or a... as long as you stuck it on level. Yeah. yeah. John's going rice farming. Let's see, get in there, have a look. You know what I can see? Square root of soddle. Um. So, 30, 40 feet? Yeah, huge. 
Have you seen all the extensions they've got on that tub next to it as well? <laughs> yeah. You'd be like bulldozing doorways, yeah. don't you? I made the doorway bigger. That's like a filter. Yeah. It? It's just. Oh. It's just is it a different gear or something? Must be. One thing I've never understood. So, this is it. An American combine headers have wheels, so they just up, put it down, yes, and drive off. I don't know why the UK does it. You're asking the wrong man. Oh. I like this thing. That is massive. But there's a long way between your pick of it and your pick up. Oh. I think this, this moves from side to side, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. Right, I hope you enjoyed the few little clips you've just seen of us looking around the show. As I said earlier, I spent some money on a tractor. I don't even own this tractor, it's just works tractor. But I spent some money on some stuff for the tractor that you will see very soon. And what I did is I bought myself a set of new mirror guards um, through AgriGuards. A um, friend of mine, Tom Lee, or Tom Lee Engineering, uh, he actually makes the, makes the guards. He has all different ones for all different tractors. They're obviously not on here now. Um, he's actually going to make them up and drop them in at some point, so we might get to speak to Tom about them. I also picked up a set of these step plates. Um, I think they look really, really nice in the tractor. Obviously keeps everything you've got there behind from falling out when you're on the move or whatever. Um, Tom very kindly gifted me those, so thank you very much, Tom. Um, I think they look awesome. Um, I've been looking at them for a while, along with the mirrors. Um, and we went to the show with the intent of buying the mirrors, which I've done and paid for. So Tom's going to make them up uh, and bring them to us. The guards I've ordered from him are a little bit special. They're not just your um, shiny stainless mirror guards. They are a little bit more special. So hopefully they won't be too long. Tom's got to get them made. He said he might drop them out to us himself. So if he does, we'll um, get him to talk us through and have a look at them. But um, Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Loads of links down in the description, so head down there to check all them out. And we'll see you on another video very soon. Cheerio.